welcome back in this video we'll be talking about streptococcus pneumoniae okay first of all we are going to discuss just an introduction to streptococcus genus okay here strepto means chain and cocci means round shaped and when we subjected to gram staining it may be seen as gram positive hence we can say that streptococci are gram positive cocci arranged in pairs or in chains as we know that there are different types of organism that act as a normal flora of human body here streptococcus also coming under normal flora of humans as well as animals but some of them are human pathogens here most important human pathogens are streptococcus pyogenes as well as streptococcus pneumoniae these are the important human pathogen and the streptococcus pyogenes causes pyogenic infection like streptococcus and streptococcus pneumoniae causes pneumonia then chain like cocci were first discovered in erysipelas and wound infection by bill roth in 1874 and he called them streptococci due to its chain like structure next is about classification of streptococci okay several systems of classifications are there but in medical bacteriology there are two important criteria for the classification of streptococci okay first is based on the hemolysis on blood agar another one is based on the carbohydrate antigen present in the streptococci here aerobic and facultative anaerobic streptococci are classified on the basis of their hemolytic property that is based on hemolysis on blood agar and they are classified into three varieties alpha hemolytic streptococci beta hemolytic streptococci and gamma hemolytic streptococci and another classification is based on carbohydrate antigen present in the streptococci in this category hemolytic streptococci were classified by scientist lansfield in 1933 into 20 serological groups based on the nature of carbohydrate antigen present in the cell wall okay and these groups are known as lansfield group and are named as a to b that is alphabetic order a to v without i and j then alpha hemolytic streptococci produces greenish discoloration with a partial hemolysis with indefinite margin these are also known as viridian streptococci okay and this alpha streptococci are normal commensals in the throat but may cause opportunistic infection rarely then human pathogen streptococcus pneumoniae coming under this category that is alpha hemolytic streptococci and another classification based on hemolysis on blood agar is beta hemolytic streptococci which produces sharply defined clear colorless zone of hemolysis that is complete hemolysis takes place in blood agar by beta hemolytic streptococci another classification is gamma or non hemolytic streptococci which produces no change in the media that is no hemolysis takes place this category include fecal streptococci which are classified as enterococcus species okay that's all about classification of streptococcal genus next we are going to discuss about identical or unique features of streptococcus pneumoniae okay streptococcus pneumoniae is also known as pneumococci which are the normal inhabitants of human upper respiratory tract but they causes opportunistic infection when the host defense mechanism get lowered they are the most prevalent bacterial agent that causing pneumonia as well as other infections like sinusitis bronchitis bacteremia meningitis etc and this streptococcus pneumoniae were first noticed or discovered by pasteur in 1881 and its morphology that the streptococcus pneumoniae are typically small that is 1 micrometer in diameter and they are slightly elongated cocci with one end broad or rounded and other end is pointed which are representing flame shaped or lanceolate appearance and they are occurring pairs hence they are known as diplococci with the broad ends in opposition and another feature is that they are capsulated that is the capsule enclosing each pair 
and also they are non motile and non sporic that is they do not have any locomotory organelles hence they are non motile and under unfavorable condition they can't resist by forming spores hence they are non spore forming then when subjected to gram staining it may be seen as gram positive and indian ink preparation or indian ink staining shows capsule as a clear halo around the diplo cocci okay in this figure you can see capsule which encloses each pair of diplo cocci okay that's all about morphology okay next is about their cultural characteristics here streptococcus pneumonia have complex growth requirements that is they cannot grow on ordinary media like nutrient agar they can only grow in enriched media okay then they are aerobic as well as facultative anaerobes that is they can grow in the presence as well as absence of air and then their optimum temperature being 37 degree celsius but they can grow in the range between 25 to 42 degree celsius and their ph range is between 6.5 to 8.3 and then optimum being 7.8 and then their growth can be enhanced by providing 5 to 10 percentage carbon dioxide next is their colony morphology on blood agar on blood agar after incubation for 18 hours they produce a small dome shaped glistening colonies with an area of green discoloration green discoloration indicate alpha hemolysis right and on further incubation in the same media the colony become flat with a raised edge and central ambonation that is they seem to be concentric rings when viewed from above this appearance is known as drotsman or carom coin appearance then in liquid media such as glucose broth their growth occur as uniform turbidity and also they undergo autolysis in the liquid culture due to activity of intracellular enzyme and this autolysis can be enhanced by the presence of bile salt or other surface active agents okay we can discuss this autolysis later in the biochemical reactions okay okay next is about biochemical reactions of streptococcus pneumoniae here streptococcus pneumoniae are catalase and oxidase negative that is they cannot produce enzymes like catalase and oxidase and they can ferment several sugars forming only acid not gas and then fermentation of inulin is a useful test for differentiating streptococcus pneumoniae from other streptococci that is other streptococci do not ferment inulin then bile solubility test is positive in case of streptococcus pneumoniae that is streptococcus pneumoniae are bile soluble in this test a few drops of 10 percent a sodium dioxychloride solution are added to 1 ml of overnight broth culture and the culture clears due to lysis of the cocci that is auto lysis occur in the culture of streptococcus pneumoniae this auto lysis is due to the presence of autolytic amidase enzyme that is present in the streptococcus pneumoniae that cleave the bond between alanin and muramic acid present in the peptidoglycan and this amidase enzyme become active only in the presence of bile or bile salt like sodium dioxychloride and that resulting in lysis of the organism here you can see the bile solubility test result that is clearance of culture of streptococcus pneumoniae then resistance here streptococcus pneumoniae are delicate organism that is they are unstable and are readily destroyed by heat and antiseptics and in cultures they die on prolonged incubation due to accumulation of toxic peroxides and streptococcus pneumoniae may be maintained on semi solid blood agar or by lyophilization that is they can be stored by the lyophilization technique or cultivation on semi solid blood agar then streptococcus pneumoniae are sensitive to most of the antibiotics and beta lactam antibiotics like penicillin are drug of choice that is they are highly sensitive to beta lactam antibiotics like penicillin and in case of streptococcus pneumoniae they are highly sensitive to optokine 
streptococcus is an antibiotic that can inactivate or inhibit streptococcus pneumoniae okay here you can see the zone of inhibition in blood agar inoculated with streptococcus pneumoniae against optocyte disc okay next is about antigenic structures of streptococcus pneumoniae okay here capsule is the most important antigen of the streptococcus pneumoniae because this capsule can induce antibody production in the infected host and this capsular polysaccharide diffuses or released into the culture media or infective exudates and tissues it is called as specific soluble substances that is specific soluble substances means it is a capsular polysaccharide that is released or diffused into the culture media or infected exudates or tissues and the serotyping is based on the capsular antigen present in the streptococcus pneumoniae that is streptococcus pneumoniae are classified into different strains based on the capsular antigen present in each streptococcal strains okay and this classification or serotyping is done by using different methods or processes like agglutination precipitation capsule selling or quelling reaction then pcr based test these are the four types of techniques used to classify the streptococcal pneumonial species okay specific anti serum is used for agglutination and precipitation method and in quelling reaction a suspension of streptococcus pneumoniae is mixed on a slide with a drop of type specific anti serum and a loop full of methylene blue solution is added and in the presence of this anti serum the capsule become swollen hence this method or reaction is also known as capsule swelling then another method is pcr based test this is also used to serotyping or classification of streptococcus pneumoniae and which also shows higher sensitivity in the detection of infection especially meningitis besides this capsule streptococcus pneumoniae also contain other antigens like nucleoprotein as well as somatic c carbohydrate antigen if streptococcal pneumonia infected person already suffering from a bacterial infection or inflammation or other tissue destruction their hepatocytes produces a acute phase substances which is known as c reactive protein or crp this crp is an abnormal protein or beta globulin produced by hepatocytes which can precipitate with the somatic c carbohydrate antigen of streptococcus pneumoniae that is crp has a body antibody like relationship to c somatic antigen present in streptococcus pneumoniae but this crp is not an antibody it is a acute phase substances produced by hepatocytes of the host when there is any infection by bacterial or inflammation or tissue damage okay so that's all about antigenic structures of streptococcus pneumoniae we'll join you with other features of streptococcus pneumoniae in the next video okay thank you